squad. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today's Friday. Happy Friday. Today is a review on an e-juice line, the whole line, from Unique Sigs. All right? This, this stuff here, okay? Nice wood box. Comes in this package. Nice wooden box. They've given me a card with their uh, profiles on the back. This was sent to me for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this e-juice. They got five flavors in this. This is $89.99 for this box. Uh, it's 30 ml of e-liquid per bottle. It's $16.99 for a 30 ml bottle. So it's around $17. It's not premium price, but you know, e-juice is competitive nowadays, you know? Um, you can get really good e-juice for a good price, you know, like some crack pie, 60 ml bottle. This stuff is awesome. One of my favorite e-juices and it's like 30 bucks for a 60 ml bottle. So they have different, uh, different types of lines as well. This is one of their lines. Open it up and we got their e-juice. I'm in these, uh little plastic containers to say unique sig it's a great presentation man all right glass bottles regular dropper on it unique e-cigs north country series e-liquids are custom crafted in the usa and are produced by facilities that meet our highest standards for quality control we do not add any artificial coloring or sweeteners to our e-liquids now right off the bat man that's a con to me. I, I like sweet. If it's not sweet, I do not like the e-liquid. In addition, our North Country Series e-liquids have been independently lab tested to show non-detectable levels of dicetyl, acetyl, propanol, and acetin. Okay, so none of those harmful chemicals are going to be in this e-liquid. And if you want me to be 100% fucking real with you guys, I do not care about that shit. I really fucking don't. If it makes the e-liquid taste like shit, I'd rather have it in it, okay? Um, you know, it, it's going to be healthier than cigarettes. Um, anything that you're inhaling or vaping is not, or smoking, is not going to be good for you. Period, okay? It's, in my opinion, what is better for you, not is what is the most, health, the most healthiest. The most healthiest thing would be not to vape or smoke altogether. And I... I like to vape and I like to smoke when I smoked. So I, I don't really care. As long as it's healthier, I'm fine. And if those chemicals are not in the e-liquid and it makes it changes the taste of an e-juice like this or French dude, if it don't taste something like that, then I'd rather have it in it and have it taste like that. It's subjective. That's my personal opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Okay. Oh, Sunrise is a bright blast of fruity cereal with refreshing lemon and citrus notes. Okay. I'm gonna give you inhale, exhale, flavor vapor, and throw it in a one to five scale. Five being a competition juice, all day vapor, kick to the throat. You want to see a three in an all day vape for throat hit. I got the uh, Sigeli 213 with the twist and mess of squared and a helix uh, design uh, drip tip on there. And I also have the DX200 with the Goon Brass IDA with the Helix, uh, double Helix design uh, drip tip money. That money, that money drip tip. It smells really, really good. It does, it smells tremendously good. It smells different. It smells kind of natural. This shit is very citrusy. So if you don't, if you like non-sweetened e-liquid and you like really citrusy bright lemony citrusy notes and you don't want a coil gunka then this one might be definitely up your alley 130 watts i have james mucklin's alien clapton's in here 26 gauge with 40 gauge or 36 gauge on the outside comes out to a 0.1 on the money 130 watts let's see how this stuff is man This stuff isn't bad, guys. It's really not. It's not a bad e-liquid for, uh, uh, it's different. 
It's definitely different, I think, in a positive way. It's really citrusy. I wish it had more of that cereal. It's kind of like fruit. It's a fruity cereal. It's not a lot of, uh, you know, that, that grainy, oaty cereal taste to it. It's more of like the lemon citrus with a little bit of a background note of something in there that reminds you of a cereal. So if they don't add sweetener to it, what? it's not close at all to what it is in real life. If they put a Napolitan ice cream in the bottle and you think you're vaping Napolitan ice cream, it's not sweet, well, you're not gonna, you're gonna eat non-salted potato chips. You, you, you're gonna eat uh, non-sweetened ice cream and it would taste like fucking ass cracks. All right, so I don't get why they didn't add sweetener at the beginning and I don't get why they didn't add sweetener in these. Uh, you know, maybe people don't like it. It does go, it does, Gunk up your coils, but I don't give a shit. I'd rather have a good vaping experience and re-burn my coils and re-wick it every day. That's just me, okay? Nature Hike. This is what I was excited about. Handcrafted trail mix of honey roasted nuts. Lightly topped with creamy strawberry jam. Now, to me, that sounds like awesome, okay? To me, it sounds sweet, and it sounds salty, and it sounds peanutty, all right? It smells like that, 100%. VGPG ratio on a three milligram is weird. 30, 70, all right, PG, VG. The zero nicotine is a 50, 50. Don't like it, thank God I don't have it. The six milligram, it comes in zero, three, six, 12, and 18 milligrams of nicotine. Everything is 50, 50 besides the three milligram, which is 70, 30. I'm not taking this one at all. I do not like it one bit. If they add a little sweetener in there, this would probably be good, to be honest with you. Summit. Smooth, relaxing blend of toasted coconut and mixed nuts infused with sweet brown sugar and toffee undertones. Man, it sounds really, really good. You get coconut, you get brown sugar, no. There's no sweetness in it. So how are they gonna add brown sugar with no sweetness? Brown sugar is sweet. It's sugar. What the fuck? It doesn't, I don't taste brown sugar. I taste toffee, but it tastes like it didn't have sugar or sweetener in it. Uh, I don't like it. Mountain mix. An earthy tobacco mix with caramel and cocoa undertones combined with fresh hints of pineapple and coconut. Throat hits nice. Vape production's all nice on these, okay? <coughs> Throat hits about a three and a half. A little bit more than I'd like to see. Not too, 3.25, it's got good throat hit. They use good nicotine, I can tell. I'm getting a little bit of a nick buzz. These are all balanced very well. I'm saving the last, the best for last. My favorite in the line is a decadent dessert twist of berries and homemade vanilla ice cream garnishes with a cherry on top. 46 peaks. If I add sweetener to these, I have sweetener. That's what I do sometimes. I'll add sweetener to it. I get a nice ice cream, I get a nice berry, and I get a nice little bit of cherry. The cherry is like, uh, what's that name of that shit? Slush, that cherry in the slush. It, I got a nice cherry like that. It's not medicine-y. They did it, they did these flavors on the money. All of these flavors are identical to the description without the sweetness. That's the best way I can explain it. I like Sunrise. And I like 46 Peaks. These are the two that, out of the line, I would have to say are the best. Now, coming down to a number on flavor on these two. These three, on flavor, they get about a two. I, I do not like them. I'm sorry, Unique Sigs, but I, I can't, you know, it is what it is, man. If you added sweetener to them, they would be on the money. If you're looking for something that's not sweet, then these are definitely up your alley, okay? These are like the old school e-liquid without the sweetener. I would still give the flavor on this about a three and a half, okay? It's de these are not all day vapes to me at all. I'll vape these two. They're not my favorite, okay? I'm not gonna bullshit you. They're not my favorite, but if you like something that doesn't gunk up your coils and it's not sweet, I definitely would recommend these two. You can find this e-liquid at uh, uniquesigs.com, link on screen and description. I do appreciate it, I just, I have to be honest regardless. 
Um, I have to be honest. If you're interested in non-sweetener e-liquid, I can't stress that enough. Okay, that's why I'm recommending it in that category. I am not recommending this stuff that's closest to French Dude, that's closest to Telios. It's not even close in my palate wise. Yeah, that's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found this video helpful or informative. You know what to do. I give you content on a daily basis, 1080p, 60 frames per second. You're wasting your effing bandwidth if you're not subscribed to my channel. Remember, squad, stay juiced the fuck up. Maybe I'll catch you later on tonight.